When you have been using Python for a while, you might have already noticed that there are quite some instances when a Python virtual environment is the way to go. In this video, you will learn all the steps that are required to create a virtual environment with Python in VS Code using VENV. Now make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get started right away. So I'm gonna start with creating a folder. So click on File, Open Folder. Now just navigate to the directory where you want to save all the files for this course. In my case, I created a directory on my OneDrive, which is called Python Scripts. And here I'm gonna create a new folder. It's called Selenium Course. Click on that folder after you've created it and then click on Select Folder. Now we have selected the folder where we're gonna work and in this folder, we're gonna create all the files and as well, the virtual environment. First of all, I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna call that file main.by. I'm just gonna say here, print hello world. Let's run the script. You see the outcome here, hello world, but you also see here that the Python version that is currently being used is in app data, local programs, Python, Python 3.11, Python.exe. And this is what we call the global Python environment. And that's the Python version that's currently installed on your computer. But we don't want to go with this Python version. We want to create a virtual environment. So I'm just going to put my cursor here and then type Python minus M V E N V dot V E N V like this. And then press enter. You see now that the new folder is created and this is the folder where your virtual environment is being saved. VS Code also asks you, we notice a new environment has been created. Do you want to select it for the workspace folder? And you want to do this. So click on yes. And maybe you've noticed that at the bottom of our screen, this just changed. So if you click here, you can select the Python version that you want to use. So as you can see here, there is a global Python version, which is Python 3.11. And then there is also a Python version in the virtual environment, which is recommended. So you see here global and the recommended one is the one in the virtual environment. So I'm gonna go with the one in the virtual environment. So I'm still gonna select this. If you want, you can always change it here. And if I navigate to .v and v and I expand it and I navigate to the lib, this is where all the packages are installed. So you see currently pip is installed and there is another pip version installed and there are some other tools installed, but there is no library called Selenium here. So let's try the following pip install selenium you don't have to follow this i just want to show you how this works so i'm going to press enter another weird thing that happens is that we get here the message requirement already is satisfied and then you see here that selenium has already been installed in uh, this library but you don't see it here and they are not included in this project if they are installed in a global python environment so there is one thing that we still have to do and that's we have to activate our virtual environment. And if we do that, all our packages will be installed in the virtual environment instead of in the global environment. In order to do that, I'm gonna type .venv backslash scripts slash activate. Press enter. Now you see in my case, Python just changed to the virtual environment because you see here .venv. But it's very possible that you get an error. And if you get this error, the only thing that you have to do is you have to copy this code. So you have to change the execution policy, press enter. And if you've done that, you're gonna again, execute this script. And now we have activated the virtual environment. So if you get this .venv here, you can be sure that your virtual environment is working as expected. And if I now run this command, pip install selenium and press enter, you see, in this case, I don't get requirement already satisfied. I see that a whole bunch of libraries, which are all dependencies of Selenium, have now been installed here. So we can now close the terminal. If you need a terminal again, just click here on Terminal, New Terminal, and you can build your entire project here and add all the dependencies that you want in your virtual environment. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope to see you back in one of my next videos.